Hey, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, uh, just like this. Hello, so uh, this video, um, I'm just going to go over how I painted um, uh, this statue. Well, not really the statue, but the base, uh, what I call the tower, uh, how I did those highlights uh, to look it that way. Uh, I didn't want to make it too noticeable. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I'll go over this video and I'll put some pictures of the before and after so you can see at the end. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what I used uh, and how it was done. I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. Again, I'm no artist, but uh, I, I do like to do things like this from time to time. And the good news about this whole thing, uh, it's completely reversible. So if you don't like the way the paint came out, uh, you can just use some soap and water and wash it off. Uh, again, like I did with the, the Craven and some of the other statues I have. Okay, so uh, just watch the video and let me know what you think uh, if you have any questions or comments. Thank you. All right. So uh, this is the before video, which is basically the, the original statue uh the base uh i really like this carnage statue um right there's carnage um uh, but something i don't like about it is the paint on the base uh, it seems very basic uh, i wish there was some more highlights some more shading on it uh, i like the design of it i just don't like it looks like it's being primed, but not painted, especially like step back a couple of feet. Um, so I've done a, a couple of custom bases for the, the Craven and Scorpion. And that came out pretty, pretty good, but I never actually painted the base itself. Uh, I did it like an extended base, but not the original base. And I don't want to mess it up, so I got up paint that I can remove in case I don't like and I can still try different things on it so I got this uh, tempera paint uh, it's water washable so if I don't like it I can just wash it off so again let's see how it's gonna go I'll, I'll take some pictures and We'll see how it's going to look. I'll, I'll take some quick videos in between and see how that goes. Okay. Okay. Um, so I started trying different colors, um, mixing, getting the like right shade that I like. I uh, started with a little bit of blue inside and then I put some of the black. Uh, for now, I'm, I'm just doing like uh, like this, just putting some uh, highlights, just like that. Um, had different brushes here. Um, before I started all this, I did a, like a a try over here, just to see how it will react. Um, again, it, it comes out very easily. So if I decide to remove it. I can just wash it. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'll keep trying different highlights and different shadings, and till I get to the point that I, you know, get to a color that I like. Okay. Okay. Um, now it's starting to look a little bit different now. 
Um, you can see I put some uh, black there. It's still wet. And what's a little bit complicated about painting with this uh, tempera uh, paint is that, you know, it, it looks very shiny now, but well, it doesn't dry that way. It's not very glossy at all, but you have to wait for it to dry. Um, the windows, I put a, a coat of blue, and then after the blue, I put some black around it. Um, you can see, but there's a lot of uh, other black and gray shading I added to it. Um, and some black highlights. Yeah, it's looking a little bit different now. Uh, this is the original color. And... And this is the other side. Uh, and down here, I'm gonna put some of the black. You know what I like about this paint, if you make a mistake, it's very easy for you to remove it. And if it's too dark, you can always remove it a little bit and put a lighter coat. Uh, actually, I need to put maybe a little bit of blue there. Okay, uh, take another break now. Okay, uh, still putting some highlights. Uh, I mix some yellow, black, green, <laughs> blue there to make a, a brown. Uh, just put some highlights. I, I, I put the gray highlights first. Uh, now I'm putting some of the brown and what the brown does it makes it look like more aged mm. and it's hard to see when it's wet Sorry about that. So it's not all gray and all black. Exit more of our bronze book. Because the gray at first was too gray. And it's a trial and error thing. You just keep doing until you get to the color that you want. Uh, did the blue windows there. Maybe I need some more black. So okay, let's take just a quick look. What's coming along. Again, some areas are still wet, so you don't see the actual look until it dries up. Uh, and it's the original side. Okay, uh, so as you can see, I put some of the brown around here some of the black and you can with a dry brush you can wipe it off some of that uh, and create some highlights same thing i did here with the black i put the black and then with the brush i took some of it out 
so you can see the texture there and you still see the darker color and that's the point of it I don't want to repaint the whole thing I'm just gonna create some highlights uh, here it is this ugly lines here <laughs> but uh, that's the point of it you start with the lines and they don't look so good but then what you do later you just come over and kind of wipe them off um, and you create some highlights uh, it doesn't look too good like this but uh, as you come with the brush you start like blending them sometimes you need to put a little bit of water not too much uh, you just Oh, that's a little bit too much. <laughs> and what happens when you start blending, those lines kind of disappear, but they do create a, a texture. A little bit more of the black. Oh, too much. Okay. I'll blend this a little bit. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look too good, but wait for it to dry. You see some of the highlights. Um, I don't know. Uh, it looks better than the original. Uh, you can see how it's just like plain like that and now it does have some color some depth okay time for another break okay um i think i'm done now uh put some more uh, highlights uh, see those lines are not as visible anymore we still can see some shading there uh, put some highlights here and the top uh, I used a, a mix of green blue and white to give it like a aged uh, weathered uh, look um, if it's too much, you can just uh, wipe it off a little bit and you can actually wipe some of it out and adjust uh, when it's too much. And like I said before, uh, this is the mix. So I put a little bit, I dry it a little bit and uh, yeah, just do like a little light brush. You don't want to be too much. And you can just wipe it a little bit.
and if it's too much you can just use some of the darker color Yeah, uh, I'll put it back together and I'll take some final pictures. Uh, again, this is the painted side. And, and this is the original. This it was before. That one I painted all the way around. You see? I'll uh, take a picture and I'll put some side-by-side -side pictures at the end. Thank you. All right, so uh, yeah, this is the final look, uh, how it looks uh, with the other statues on my display. Uh, I'll show you first without the LED lights on. Uh, you can see it's, it's more of a highlighting, uh, it's not really a full repaint. It's basically putting some uh, <laughs> makeup on a already great statue and base. Close up. So it looks more like weathered, uh, aged, I guess. And again, since I did this myself, I can remove it or I can uh, add to it or I can change it if I decide. But I think it looks pretty good. Uh, and that's the craven that I did. Uh, there was also a repaint on the lion and a new base for, uh, or extend the base for the craven. And like everything I do, it's completely reversible. So if I decide to ever go back to the way it was before, let me turn on the LEDs now. It's really bright. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it gave the base a little bit more depth. So, okay, yeah. Um, I did those portrait uh, stands as well, so that's a separate video. But uh, I have a few more statues going up there. Hopefully, I'll get them soon. And as far as the craven, well, there's a separate video for that one. <laughs> So, uh, as usual, uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just write below. I'll get to it as soon as possible. And right now, I'm just going to put some pictures, side-by-side -side comparison, so you can see how it was before and as to what it looks like now. Okay, thank you.